Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Connect 36 presents the Beard of Kings. I am King Bear in the building. Comedian CJ Trowers. Big Sleeve from the West Coast. And we're back at it again, fellas. So today's topic. You guys ready for this? Yep. All right, here we go. Let's get it. And, and, And give this real thought, all right? Say you fall in love and get married with what is the absolute perfect woman for you. Any age. You can be saying it happened today or it's happened already or when I was younger it happened whenever. Any age that you want. You get married, you you fall in love and get married with an absolute perfect woman. Everything you need. Everything. Like if you, you know, the sex life is great, the um she's financially where you want her or need her to be, um, she supports you the way you need to be supported. Um, she almost reads your mind in everything that you do. So, like, you're like one of the only people on the planet that's like, literally, I have no complaints whatsoever. I, I, I can't find anything to complain about this person. All right. So y'all are married for, say, you know, five or 10 years and everything's still great. You find out that she was born a man. After you've been married for like five or ten years, and y'all dated for a long time before that, but she had the surgery, she got the fake vagina put in, and you know, and you know, let the wolf grow in, and so you couldn't see the scar on or nothing. So, you know, everything looked like it was supposed to look. <clears throat> what are you doing? After ten years of perfect what marriage? Perfect. Not so, that it's been up and down. Now that I'm a celly with uh, Scott Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's no more easy to let that really. shit grow. And I not see, because I like my shit bald. So I'm not, you're not going to hide the scars. Um, he ain't see no baby pictures. He ain't talk to the mama <laughs> and daddy. He ain't talk to no cousins. He ain't talk to, they ain't no kids. Well, you know, today people support that change. That whole gender bending shit. Like, I'm gonna need moms pictures. and dads be called in the opposite one what they identify as. I'm going to need pictures. Yeah, I'm but hold on, hold on. Now, I'm, I'm saying from the point of you're already married. Not, hey, we about to get married and I just noticed we haven't seen no pictures. I'm talking about you've been married. You've established stuff. You know, you got successful businesses. There's no way we would have got that far without me seeing some pictures, talking to some fucking classmates, something. Nigga. I know it ain't just about as much as I need to. Siblings, you, you talk to your current old classmates. Yeah, I've known motherfuckers. I'm talking to them, so I know. Hey, where her? Where she go back to? I know. He's lying. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't been laughing a year, but that was perfect timing. <laughs> I was waiting on that one. I was waiting for the pause. Yes. You talk to classmates. You go back home, they talk to the the people you had back home. You never talk to nobody from back home? He's your wife went to? (laughs) Bro. If in 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 chance, possibly. Possibly in chance. Like if if you're if my wife is still friends with friends she's with in high school with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if I talk to them. They're not gonna say, oh, he used or she used to be a boy. Why wouldn't they? Because they're her best friends for all these years. They're just gonna identify what they are. You know how women are. You know how they are. Women will be like, yo, that it'll be a straight up gay it's dude. No and hint. they'll still refer to him as her girlfriend. It's no hints of it, no way from nobody. Nobody's no gonna dr- I mean, perfect surgery. No uncle drunk at a reunion, nobody gonna be like. Shit, that nigga used to play a mean pickup game. Nobody know that shit. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga used to have a no mean uncle? crossover. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. That nigga crossed me up one time. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had a mean crossover. Hey, hey that nigga dumped on me once. Hey, I got Come fight. on now. There's, there's chicks I got in the fight WNBA and I call no. that be dunking on and crossing over cats. Mm. Come on. Hey, what do, what do we say as men when somebody dunks on you as the ultimate disrespect? Oh, that nigga dunking you had your nuts all in his face. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. All right, come on. Let let's be real. At the age we're at right now, if if Brittany Griner came up and you weren't paying attention and she dunked on you, CJ, 
I'm going to say that nigga had his nuts in your face. Because <laughs> that voice is deep as fuck. Man, bitch, why I got nuts tucked in? I'm just the best with you. I've been like, yo, Clint, yo, Brittany had his nuts yeah. all in your and mouth. I, and I was like, probably <laughs> so, did. So, I mean. Hey, and I, I respond with, did you watch the rest of the video? Because I punched them immediately in right. the cervix. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Punch him in the pussy. <laughs> All right. Bring no, but see, y'all, y'all are trying to the trap. Already You're already married. You've been married. You can't keep saying it never happened. Dog, how the fuck we get to being married without some pre... You said we dated before. Before that, obviously. Yeah. It can't get that far. I'm not actually married without all that, that shit known ahead of time. I well, I mean, there are... Said. As crazy as it sounds, there are women who don't like head. There's a couple out there. Well, even <laughs> so, when even he's yeah. like, see, and and because of surgery, got the hole and everything, got it laced with velvet and butter or whatever the fuck they do to That's get what the I was hole. About to say, it, even if even if butter. they didn't like the head, they they would still let you do it, and you still right. know, right? So, you still plug it all. You you put your hands down there. There's two holes. You're like, okay, we good. And then, what if she got plastic surgery stuff and? And there's some scar in the area. She says she had one of them, what do you call it? The vaginoplasty. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> I got that from South Park. Um, we got the, the shit the, tightened? Yeah, yeah. When they had the surgery to get the shit, so it was a little bit of scar here or there. And she tells you that's what it was. But it was really because she had the hack job done. So, like, do you break up with her after 10 years of... Well, 10 plus years of absolute You mean attend a tender funeral? Bliss. Huh? Do I attend a funeral? You gonna kill somebody that's been perfect for you for more than 10 years? Motherfucker's a lie. So what? We've been lying all our lives. Not that kind of lie. Dude, like, you right. Not, not that kind of lie. Nigga, like I left the but, fucking top off the jar type of lie. <laughs> not I, I used to be another type of but human that's being. A, that's a bold-faced dumb lie. This is a lie to keep your perfect life intact. Nigga, this shit ain't perfect. It is perfect. It's a lie. <laughs> you starting to sound like a female right now. It's a lie. The whole it's a like, lie by omission. No, no, no. Stop no, no. it, dude. It's a lie by dict. Dick's gone. <laughs> dictation. Yeah. That's omitting your dick, dictation. dictation. Right. <laughs> Detraction of a Detraction. dick. Detraction. <laughs> Detraction. Okay, but see, if she was perfect... I mean, she she was the body style you like, had the big old titties with the big old areolas and everything, and was like, yo, whatever you want, she buy for you, and then didn't come with all that stigmata of, well, you know, since I'm paying for everything, I need to be the man of the house. Because she think like a man, because she's a oh, nigga. Right. Right. There's no other way you could get to the perfection. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Really she was good the way she was the first time. Now you're just fucking around. <laughs> now you're just spitting in God's face. Well, he was already fine. Yeah, but that's between her and God. But I'm talking about between her and you. No. What's between me and who? I'll, I'll bring flowers to the head. Dude, you've been smashing as many times as you wanted for Under the last lie. 10 plus years, dude. And how did I find out about this supposed fucking lie? You see the birth certificate that you didn't see the whole time you was in a relationship Maybe with? Maybe that's it. Something, <laughs> something just... Random out of the blue. Like she had her original birth certificate tucked away somewhere and you were cleaning up and you moved the safe or something and it was literally like hanging out the safe and you pulled it was like, yo, who the fuck is Jarrell? You present you present that shit like that African on Friday with that CD. <laughs> what, is get this? Get the- <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> what you, what you say, Sleep? I already said my phone. What'd you say? So you gonna murder what? your wife. Huh? <laughs> I just, I just, I just murked the nigga that was in my house. <laughs> uh, now I want. Oh, you going to jail? Nigga broke into my house. What, what it's you a going fair to fight. See? It's not a fair fight. She, she still could fight. It's all shit like a nigga. I don't even still strategy still there and all that. <laughs> Ruff, no hormones. Dude, after shit. ten years the of n- being your perfect, the nigga submissive, size, her nigga side gonna kick supportive. You. Financially balanced, mentally stable, rational thinking wife. First now, all, now, all that oh. shit you said was oxymoron. No, it could be a woman. Exactly. No, could be a woman from the get go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's once again you thinking right now. But if at this point, you know, surgery's getting closer and closer and closer to getting real close to nailing the shit. 
So if not bringing every, emotions, if every other page logic. of the book is a bestseller, no and then the last page is some bullshit, do you not read the book? Mm-hmm. Did you not enjoy the book? The book was trash. <laughs> <laughs> This do not guy. recommend. <laughs> this <guy>. one star. <laughs> I'm going full Karen and giving a Yelp review. This book was trash. Matter of fact, burn all these books. <laughs> what you doing? Is <laughs> I, I, I first have to ask a question. You know I have to ask a question. What? What state are we in? The state of bliss. No, scary. no. What physical <laughs> state do we live in? <laughs> Meaning, <laughs> what you trying? You trying to find murder laws? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I need. I need. I need to know. I need. We're in, we're in progressive California. Oh no, because California has the three strike law, so that's easy for me. <laughs> I'm, I, we <laughs> we tested that. <laughs> We tested that. As soon as you let me out, guess what's happening? The same thing. I'm, I'm a, what did they say? Predicate felon. It's happening. Okay. Why is this even a conversation? Right. That Jack? nigga and all of his titties gotta die. Right. He gotta Texas? go. Thank you. What if we're in Texas? Okay. Hey, so you're down then, with a big then, then I, I guess we're both going. That yeah, I for I shit that they got in Texas? Hey, I guess, I guess we're both out of here. Yeah. We are both out of here. Texas got an express lane to their death chair. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It is what it is. Hey, like, you murder. commit murder like 30 hey. days later, you already gone. Murder suicide it is. <laughs> hey, you don't even got to say my bad. Texas, Texas be executing niggas and lazy boys. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we are out of here. <laughs> we you are together. Even... Hey, I'm going to use both of our pronouns. We are out of here. <laughs> right. We are dying. We, he, for, they are on. dying. Come on, sleep. For real, though. For real. <laughs> 10 years of absolute perfect life. You, let me tell you something. Look, look, let me, let me, and, let me and, tell you something. No, hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on, I, let hold me on. stop. I, I'm going to let you get it. I'm going to let you get it. But the problem is we as men don't understand what perfect means. Could you imagine being married to somebody and never arguing? Whatever sport you like, that motherfucker's right there like, yo, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? No arguments about nothing. Well, first Financially, and foremost, you good. Like you can do whatever you want. You can do your work. You could you could start your business or whatever. But at the end of the day, she holding you down on everything. And we gonna argue about something. And or something she's nigga. a we gonna dime. Argue about something. She, you guys argue over us uh, guy stuff, sports stuff. Like who's better, Jordan or LeBron? Shit like that. Or yo. I don't like these J's because they're this. Well, I like these J's better. Shit like that. Like, not see, the shit you arguing with a woman. You, you see what I'm saying? Exactly, because you're not arguing with a woman. I so a lot of this that. shit that you're saying is right. all red flags. All right. It's all red flags. <laughs> of course. You don't get it. Like, I don't pick up on that shit. You don't get it. You are right. All of that, all of that shit is right. Wait, wait a minute. Why do you, come on. Why do you, why do you come know on. what a Jordan 4 is? Right. Why do you know? Why, why do you know what these things? And she's like, what? Because I'm, I'm a speed sneakerhead, yo. No. Like, what? Hey, why, why do you know that LeBron only shoots 76% from the line? Right. Why? Why? Those are all red flags. Yep. Dude, <laughs> there, are, there are females that, that are uh, hot on the stats. We got that. But what I I'm agree. saying is, what I'm saying is, you guys think about it from the level of you are already with the person. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're already, you're saying that like, yo, it would never happen because... I would notice it. I would notice Nobody that. Nobody said no. Well, I didn't say that. I said that. This person is perfect in every way, not just financially, not just emotionally, but physically too. The exact dimensions, the shades, the coloring, everything that you like and want is right in front of you. You gonna blow that up when you first start dating, like? Ah, uh, you know what? You're too perfect. Fuck that. You must be a dude. Let me get out of here. No, you ain't gonna do that. And then y'all have sex, and there's no hesitation. It's not like she says, "Well, you know what? I don't know." Um, hey, that, that's, that's a red flag too. That's a red flag. No, hey, no, I'm saying that, that's a red flag too. She want to fuck on the first date. That's a red flag too. Is, is that what you would want from your wife? She never on her period. I never get a period excuse. Like I'm on my period. I can't. 
Bitch, I run red lights. That's why I said, if I ain't never had a red light moment, it's a moment. It's a problem. Now, there are women that have menopause at early ages. There are women who have extremely light periods. I mean, that's that's part of the game too. It's part of the game too. And if she said, I'm on birth control, if the bitch, if the motherfucker lied this whole time, yo, I've been on birth control, so I don't have periods no more. Because they do have hey, medicine that does that. I know that. But I if do you on birth, <laughs> if, if you on birth, if you, well, yeah. I, yeah, no. Nah, it just put some sugar you pills can, in a fucking, in one of her girlfriend's uh, old uh, twisty thing. You know what I'm saying? Like every. There's no warning signs other than the fact that this person is too fucking good. What's your answer then? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you guys. No, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. Seriously. I mean, I'm not treating it like a would you rather. I I don't know what I would do. Personally, you know, I love my wife, but me and her, both of us being alphas, boy, we fight like the dickens, boy. We fight like dogs at times. Like, I've never put my hands on her, um, but... The thought has been there. Right. Like That's when rough. when the Hulk picked up Loki and smashed that to go to the floor, I, I really could see myself like in that image right there. Like there's been times like that. But to imagine somebody where nothing like that ever happens. You know what I'm saying? And somebody who gets you. And I'm not just saying they they kind of figure you out, they get you. <clears throat> you like they, I mean, they, they, all- they could tell, like when you're yelling from one side of the house or the or the room to the other, and you're like, hey, babe. And they just reach in, what, you want some chips? Yeah. All of, all of, that, that. All of that is great. For but 10 if you find out, plus years, dude. But if you find out it's all a lie, it's because essentially that's what it is. There's only one lie. But the rest the of it has been real. Ever. That, you're that, right. That, that one trumps all the... All that the that lie trumps all the truths. Dude, That's the Mount Rushmore of lies. The only lie in this world I think would be <sighs> bigger is if once we die, we find out Jesus wasn't Jesus. Like, that's probably the only lie that would be bigger than that. I give you guys that. But my reality, living in a world where everything is perfect... I'm hanging out with my fellas, and y'all like, yeah, man, we good. We just uh, had a rough one with the wife this week or something. And I think back, and I'm like, yo, I've never had that. That wouldn't put you in red flag mode? Dude, that'll put me in a, if this is perfect, I don't want to know what could fuck this up. Like, don't ever let me find out, because I don't want to know. Let's okay, just, Mario Wines. I want to die like this. I don't want to know. I'm telling you, straight vanilla sky, nigga. Let me just take <laughs> straight Matrix. Put me back in the Matrix. Because that's I, great. I want that life. Yeah, see, that's that's great. But that wasn't the question. The question is, is what would you with do? all that being said, if you found out that it wasn't that. Right. What would you do? That's what we want to know. Because it's, at that point, when you find out, it ain't perfect no more. All, you're, it's going through your head that all that, all that other shit hammer. wasn't real. Well, it, it was. Shattered well, for me, my perception is my reality. So, if something happens to my eye right now, and all of a sudden this curtain behind you, uh, CJ, looks red, it don't matter what you or anybody else in this world is going to say. That shit is motherfucking red. You yeah, know what I'm but that can change. So, no, no, right, right. But it takes something drastic to change it. Now, if yeah, change like a it, dick. But right. this is- <laughs> That she, pull, that she pulls out a fucking... Hey, what color is that curtain when it has a dick on it? Right. right. <laughs> she pulls a dick out in a, in, a, in a Crown Royal bag. Like, this how you used to have one of these. Say, you thought yours was impressive, nigga? Look at, look at my shit. Yeah. I, I used to slay them before I met you. <laughs> what if she had a shit on a plaque like a taxidermist? This motherfucker... What if, that's what, what if that's what you found instead of the birth certificate? Yeah. <laughs> and bang, and bang. Why the fuck is there a dick on the wall? <laughs> that motherfucker right there, she's legendary. Let me tell you the story. Whose dick is this on the wall? Yeah. Are you Lorena Bobbitt? Right. You're like, nah, um, only to myself. Right. What? Wait. Hey, what? <laughs> I, I, feel, I, I feel like we should pause on this. But... <laughs> you, you, you went out a little bit. What you say? I said, I feel like we should pause all of this. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. One it, pause. It's, it's a pausable subject, but I mean, it's still a, a, a hypothetical, though. Jesus. Like, for me, I if I found out, and I'm not, I'm not 
losing everything that I've went through for the last 10 years. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can go the next 10 years knowing what I know. Okay. But I'm damn sure I'm going to give it the college try because perfection does not come. <laughs> well, oh, technically, oh, neither was course. she. Right. <laughs> hey, yo! But you have over and over again for 10 years. <laughs> in, in the ship. Hey, yo! <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Man, babe, I want you to try this new position. It's right. the Amazon position. Go ahead and lay on your back and right. put your feet up. <laughs> We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this thing, dude. I oh shit. I, I mm. so you you put it back. Hey, I'm not murdering. You put it back in it like you like, ain't nobody. I'm literally. I'm, hey. I'm never Time gonna out. call her. You find the plaque, the penis plaque. <laughs> you put the shit back in the drawer and act like it shit never happened. <laughs> she, 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 no, no. Let me paint a picture for you now. Let me paint a picture for you now. Right. I love it. She comes into the room uh-huh. with a new fucking Giants jersey. And your favorite food, like Blake, I got you, I got you a surprise. This is hey. on top of the 10 years. Yes. You just found out. And she comes in the room, you and your study, and she comes in the room like, babe, I got a gift for you. And it's a new, it's a spanking new jersey. You just want, you've been feeling this for the jersey for like the last six months. Beautiful Giants jersey. And mm. your favorite food. Because mm. she just knew you didn't mm. eat that day. Deep fried fair food. Yes. Mm. And she yeah. Like, lingerie on. Or a steak kebab. Right. Mm. Lingerie mm. on. And she's like, babe, mm. I'm coming to make your day better. Now mm. what? What you say now? Mm. And earlier you that earlier that day you found the plaque. Right. I'm tell you guys now, and this is real talk, no lies. It's going to be the most challenging week of my life. <laughs> hey, I'm going to need time to really, really think about this thing here. Oh, hey. You want to fuck right there. I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm not in the mood right now. you never if, not in the mood. If, if she's say. perfect, but see, that would turn into an argument, and that negates the perfection. If I yep. say, you know what? I'm not really in the mood. All right, no problem. You want me to turn on the game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, that'll lead to another fight because you know the Giants suck this year, so you be like, hell no! <laughs> exactly. It's like you don't know me at all. <laughs> Bruh. I, for perfection. <sighs> Light skin. Perfect titties ass. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Red bone with the curves. Mm-hmm. Right height, no arguments. Mm-hmm. You staying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you staying. Yeah, yeah, you staying. <laughs> staying. I'm staying, dog. I'm staying. Yeah. But mm. I, I'm gonna have to take the next week to establish how I'm gonna be able to swallow this pill. Pause. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta swallow the pill. <laughs> Because it's definitely going to be a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Pause. Mm-hmm. She like, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Babe. I know, I know you had a tough week. I want to I want to try some new stuff. I know you've been joking about the whole, you know, giving your head from the back. So just go ahead and get on all fours and arch your back. Yeah. Number- <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Get on all fours and arch your back. Yeah. Let, me, uh, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me take care of you. Yeah, she, oh, my God. She be like, look. You know what? You look like you had a rough day. You just go ahead and eat your dinner, and you know I'm get in front of you, you know, and slob you down while you watch whatever you want to watch. While you watching ancient, ancient aliens and shit, and just slob you down. Like, you know what? I'm in a place right now. Just don't touch me. And if she go, all right, that's cool. But your your meal's ready, and I'm gonna give you some time. I'm gonna be up in the room, so. Whenever you want to talk, we good. Do you not know how hard that's going to be? Pause again. Right. This whole yeah. Thing. <laughs> she up there flicking. Like, there's no. She up there flicking. You can't like, say nothing in this and it not be a pause. You were right. The whole conversation needs to be paused. But still, <laughs> still. like, I, uh, bro, for real though. I, I, I. I mm, mm. Now. In the 90s or early 2000s, yeah, I probably would have been wilding out. But we in a different type of world now. 
And oh, then, look at look at you trying to be in California. No, we ain't in play. We, we ain't, nah, listen, nigga. Listen, Don't be progressive listen, now. Listen, <laughs> progressive, <laughs> no. pro, pro, progressive Republican over here. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a I'm a very liberal Republican. <laughs> I'm one of them. And my thing is, whatever you put in your mouth, <laughs> pause. pause. <laughs> it's your business. So if I'm putting it in my mouth, it's my business. But we live in a world now where if you do that, it's accepted. So not in your state. So that's why I asked what state we live in. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't forget, I'm right in Atlanta area, yes, and it's I don't, very. I don't know the dynamics. Very, I only watch CNN. And CNN is like Georgia's a red state. Whoa, yeah, Georgia is a red state. However, Atlanta, Atlanta's <laughs> popping. It's blue like birds, baby. It's blue like the bus. Yo, it's it. Yeah, so. Atlanta is a, purple. If, if there's anywhere where it would be accepted in the South, Atlanta would be the place. Yes. Atlanta would be the place if it was accepted anywhere in the South. And I'm not going to have to worry about, oh, my God, they're going to come beat down my door with crosses and, you know, burning shit in my yard because, you know, it's it's allowed here. However, my own mentality of it. That's the thing. Because now I'm sitting there like like Tommy Davidson was on Juana Man. That's like, oh, if I, oh, I love you, Juana Man, even though you are a man. Right. Does that make me gay? Like, I'm going to go through all of that. But, yeah. yo, 10 years got to count for something, fellas. It does. 10 years? It does. It, it, count, it counts for a lot. It counts for your premeditated murder, hopefully reduction of your sentence. Yep. It, 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 it goes from, from murder one to assault with intent, <laughs> which is, is still an, it's still a felony, which, again, I go back to what state are we in because he, cause states are different. California, we get three strikes. So will I, will I use that as my first strike or my third strike? Either way, <laughs> I'm going to be in there forever. Someone's gonna get striked. Is that day. somebody's getting struck? <laughs> no, some, somebody's getting a strike used on them. <laughs> right, come on, CJ, for real though. I, think I already answered that. My, I don't give a fuck how many times you said it. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. But, 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 hey, good to know where you stand, King Bear. No, uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, you're not really knowing where I stand because I I don't know where I would stand. Like I said, it's gonna be a hard week for you. It, it is gonna meant, be a hard you, week. Like you're mentally I gotta progressive. Try, That's outstanding. I gotta try to see if I can stomach it. Pause. Pause. You've been stomaching it the whole time. Man. Right, but if I can continue to to, to know how many times you know, that I'm like that one one bad decision away from the perfect life mm-hmm. either on their part or my part because either I'm going to blow up my perfect life or had they not made that decision so many years ago I would have never had the perfect life so I'm literally one decision away from the perfect life what do I do though be do I want then. to go back into the whole dating pool knowing that that's now on my record and every female I smash from now on I got to be looking at like Biz, let me see your records let me, who, where's your friends yep. like like we going for sec- secret security clearances yep. I need to know all your, <laughs> your immediate check. and extended family yep. I need all their social security numbers yep. I, like come on man Bitch, get how, how right. can you live on like get that get pregnant right now take a plan B <laughs> yeah. And then after you move on from said one and you get with the next woman, now you go back to that world where stupid things cre- create arguments. She's just feeling like arguing with you and you're like, what the f and all that. That becomes smack dab your reality again. Uh, you well, don't think you're gonna look back <laughs> like What you gonna tell her about you? You gonna tell her about your ex? I, I already know you niggas ain't. Hell no, this shit not on my record. <laughs> I already know you this ain't. This shit ain't on my record. <laughs> my, my, my ex is no longer existent. Right. So that's we're, we're, talk, we're talking about what am I going to tell my cellmate about this? Right. Because that's where I'm at. That shit's expunged <laughs> off my record. Come on, man. What you in here for? I don't think y'all be it really. You're not really thinking on this one a lot. You're letting the macho bravado get to you a little bit. No, oh, it's I, not. It, we're, it's not. And even even with the even with the feeling side, I feel that if somebody comes into a relationship and lies from jump, from that everything everything in the relationship is a lie. Wow, 
That's a huge. It's not like a little yeah. bit. Like whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let's keep it. Not like a little bit. Say. So, so do you agree with that, CJ? That's a huge lie. But I ain't asking you the size of the lie. A lie is a lie. Nah, that's a huge so lie. So do you believe nah, that? I think it's degrees. Do you believe? Oh, okay. It so it's okay if you lie, but if you lie big, that's the problem. Is that Something what you're of, of this magnitude? Hell yeah. yeah that's like, like a, a, that's like a set, 7.0 okay. on the Richter scale. Okay, let, let's go <laughs> reality. Okay, it's different so if you say, say you got into say your I, relationship and you've been telling everybody you were the Kung Fu master. There you go. I'm just joking, man. I know you're real. I know you're real. I'm just fucking with you. There you go. I'm just real. No, but seriously though, say you 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 were dating somebody and you told a, a little bullshit lie to try to get them interested, mm-hmm. and then you guys started a relationship. The foundation of your relationship is started on a lie. <clears throat> so if everything's going good and you get down on the knee and ask her to marry you in a public place or whatever, and she says no because when we first got together, you lied. What are you going to say? You, Bitch, you know don't matter. You got to eat that. That was bullshit. You got to eat that. Come on. You got to you gotta eat that. Come on. You got to take it. If you, you got to eat that. If you catch feelings enough for somebody to get down on your knee, you just going to be like, yeah, you right. I lied. What My bad. lie? Like, could I possibly I'm tell not say- that with magnitude me chopping my dick off? Dude, none. Exactly. That's none. the point. But I'm not talking about the magnitude of the lie. I'm just talking about the lie itself. Because based on what Sleep just said, he said, if that comes out, then your whole relationship was a lie because it started on a lie. So I'm yeah, asking, sure. at that point, if you came into a relationship and you lied about something, a car or uh, uh, your desire for kids or anything like that just to get with the person and then that gets thrown up and then all that time that you put into the relationship that person's like yeah I ain't fucking with you no more cause you lied when we first started talking <laughs> you just gonna say oh yeah you right alright well it's been good no yeah. you ain't no no you ain't but, no you you might not say if that I but you still gotta take you still gotta take that L if I lie oh yeah about you taking it L you taking it because that if you don't now you a stalker so <laughs> you, you can't be like bitch I ain't gonna let you go cause I told the lie at the beginning <laughs> you ain't never leaving <laughs> but come on if I lied about not wanting to have kids and she wanna have kids and I said it just to give her yeah I gotta take the L so y'all build a relationship to the point where you love her now and you set up this whole thing to get on your knee and we're waiting for her to say yes. She says, nah, we're through because you lied about one of the kids. I'm out. You going you just gonna be like, all right, all right, fair game. All right, my nigga. No, you gonna be broke up and you say, know it. I ain't say that. I wasn't gonna be broke up. You know why? That's fixable. <laughs> You cut your dick How off. It's a one-way street. Well, obviously that is the fix for yeah. that person. Yeah. Because if they've been with you for ten plus years, obviously they are now the person that they wanted to be. So they're fixed. It's your mentality that's broke. Well, I guess it's shambles. <laughs> hey. Good enough to be. I'm fine with that. Yep. <laughs> I can live with that. That yeah, motherfucker shattered like a mother. <laughs> me, 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 and Steve can discuss it because we'll be we'll be cellmates for a long time. <laughs> we we can talk about it every day. Hey, Steve, I know I was probably on some bullshit, but I ain't gay though. Right? If you're like, uh, technically, you are, dude. That was a lie. You didn't know. <clears throat> you would tell you was gay. So, <laughs> if you doing that, you still putting your shit in the dude and having the dude lick your balls. So, regardless if you knew or not, it was still going down. And we got rid of it. As soon as we find out, you said you'll settle the whole nother week after. Bruh, first of all, I said I'm probably going to stay. It's just that whole week after is me trying to get my mentality right to be like, yo, I got to shift, so shift you, the paradigm. Bro. Hey, this actually this actually just took me to a, to another place. That's, so, I, I have a question that's that's right in the same vein. Oh, so you're about to fuck up the series. Right. Here we go. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, we're it's serious. Well, because I, I wanted I wanted to know the answer different. to this question I, I since, I was about, <laughs> since I was about 18, 19 years old. So I have a, I have a, a he was a really close friend. He was a roommate at one point. Not going to say his name because he may watch. But I had a roommate. Mr. And you know who you are. Bullet, if you do watch. Should be ducking the names when he tell everybody else to put names on bullets, right. don't he? 
Dodie. I'm just saying. Right. Hey. I'm, I'm going to put that card in my back pocket when I want to keep a name quiet. Hey. <laughs> we good. I'll just say his last name rhymes with Tatis, but you, you're not going to know who he is. But everybody who watches this that knows him knows who he is now. Okay. So this, this gentleman, years ago, many years ago, we used to go to Mexico. When we was, you know, 18, 19 uh, years old, we used to go to, we used to, go to Mexico. Oh, shit. And there, you go. there was there was one right across the right across the border in San Diego. There was there was one black club that that basically played hip hop. And that's, that's why, you know, all the niggas went to. Mm-hmm. So but there was there was a there was a lady gentleman that used to go to that particular establishment that my you know roommate friend may or may not have had. Well, she gave him head, and at the time he didn't know that it was a gentleman. So when he found out that it was a gentleman, he went back for extra. For you know, he went back so to to, to have relations with this person again. Oh, so he Juana man did. I thought he went back for vengeance. He went back no, for, no, no. for more. I guess it, it, it was it was so good that he went back for more. So my question is, now again, this is 20, 30 years later. This this gentleman has wife, children, you know, children with women that he's not, you know, married to. Does that make him a little bit gay or is he like all the way? Oh, he's definitely bi. He intentionally went back. Yeah, he's no definitely way. bi. But I mean, in today's societies, that's that's accepted. You know, at now, us old school men, you know, the dying breed of men. Because we are now the dinosaurs. You know, Generation X, we, we're the dinosaurs. And once we yeah. die out, nobody's going to know about a time when men were men and women were women. Nobody's going to know because it's over with. We, we're the last ones who, who uphold that. So these days, if he said, yeah, I'm by, be like, eh, okay. Yeah, no big it's deal. Not, yeah, it's no big deal. With us it is, but... Right. But yeah, I mean he's some bisexual. Some women don't bother too. Yeah, yeah. he's bisexual. He likes both. So I mean, again, back 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 in my day, hate to use that, <laughs> but when when um like when the word got around because apparently the 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 gentleman um he tried his tactics on on several people. It just how happened that a lot of those people were in my unit. So you know how you know people start talking, the words start getting around. Like, mm-hmm. hey, you, you seen this? You seen this chick? Of course. And then somebody was like, "Wait a minute, that's not a chick. That's a dude." And right. then you, people start do, kind of doing their homework. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, nah. When he he knew, my 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 roommate knew that it was a gentleman, from what I understand. And even knowing that it was a gentleman, went back for more. There was there was there was a word that rhymes with maggot that was used towards that dude. Like pretty pretty regularly, and again the '90s was a different time. But yeah, nah, he was definitely the the rhyme word to maggot to to everybody who he told that story to. Like rest in peace, Bob Saget. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, he's that. He's that. I mean, and now it's safe to say he's queer. So I mean, so be it. I mean, that's that's his thing. But so you guys still live in in the the age of thinking if that happened to you is no way, there's no way you can. My pedigree is my pedigree, sir. I hear you. I, you know, yeah, no. I I I totally get it and I understand. My DNA is my DNA. I hear. Out of, res- out of respect to the gentleman, hey, we bo- we're both out of here. Okay. <laughs> I can't say that I'm with you. I swear, man. Like I said, I love my wife. Hey, I sometimes, really sometimes I wonder, were we just raised in different projects? Nah. <laughs> nah. Just, nah, we were raised the same place in the same way. It's just, you know, life life's experiences have been very different for the both of us. Even though, you know, we, we had a similar career path and start with the Marine Corps. But outside of that, you know, life has been, you know, fairly different for me than it has for you. That doesn't mean that I'm out here like... Brain in men and shit. I just. <laughs> it I'm sounds out, like I'm, that's what you're trying to say. Nah. Because nah. I'm saying the contrary. <laughs> no, no. All I'm saying is if, you know, with this hypothetical, and it's an extreme hypothetical. Extreme hypothetical. Extreme. If everything was perfect, dude, I can't tell you how many times, and like I said, I love my wife with everything. 
But I can't tell you how many times, it was, you know, it's been there over dumb arguments. Like, there's been times where I wake up and the argument gets started. I got somewhere to be, you know, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Argument started at 5. It's 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I'm still standing in the bedroom arguing. Not showering or nothing. And then by the time I look at my watch and I think, wait a minute, this was all over the laundry door? Like, what the... Why are we still arguing about this? And it just... And then it sets up your whole day, and it's just, like, draining. Or one of those arguments where neither one of y'all is satisfied with it, so now you're, like, trains in the night, trains passing in the night for the next week. Like, you're walking past this person. You ain't saying shit. They ain't saying shit. All that shit completely gone with somebody that you with all the time who loves everything that you love? As willing to rock with you the way you want to rock. That's my nigga. Exactly. <laughs> In this. L- l- literally. <laughs> literally. 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 Hey, literally. I'll ask the, I'll ask the guard That's if I can wear my rest and your wife at the same time, though. That's your I will boy ask, and your wife. I will ask the guard if I can wear my rest in peace T-shirt with that nigga face on it. Jail. <laughs> but that, that's it. As far as we go. That's it. <laughs> as far as we go. I get y'all. I, 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 I really get miss my home, <laughs> even though he's dead and gone. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I ooh. I don't know, man. For me, that ten years is, is got to count for something. That's a lot of time I put in energy and effort. How, how many stabs? For huh? The, uh, the stab for every year? No, I mean. I still, oh. I still, I still drink beer, so I'll pour some out yeah, every I'll time. I, bruh. Yeah, I'll, I'll pour a little out. CJ, I don't think you' being truthful right now. I'm not killing. I'm not staying. I don't care what you say. Okay, not staying. But you're gonna murder somebody who's giving you the perfect life for ten years. It you're gonna be able to look perfect. this person in the face and stab them. You know how brutal a stab. I mean, a Uh-oh. shoot, a shoot is cool. I got to shoot because was, that's was, quick. That's instant. Was Low, clip, pop, hey, hey, hey. But there's something like, happening. Some psycho shit? Yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm yeah, not going to stab me for Or you talking about the pause or the stab? Shut up, nigga. <laughs> I'm being facetious. But, nah, I can't stay. And they can't stay. And they can't stay. My nigga, ten toes down. I thought he had you for a second. No. I thought he had you. No. Well, can they? Will they stay in the land of existence, though? No. So no. You, you're going to gonna murder the, them to tell the story. So you? No. If you they're perfect, they ain't going. They ain't going to rat your story. Yes, you they go. will. It's a I'm, dude. I'm gonna, I'm get a it's not a woman. Yeah, like dudes don't talk. It ain't no dudes that talk. A dude ain't gonna, a real dude, the person that was like, she ain't a real you. dude. She ain't a real nigga, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what you she is a real, technically she is a real nigga. She is a real nigga. <laughs> real niggas ain't cutting their shit she's off. A dad, she, oh, she's a day one, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga stupid. <laughs> Shut up, nigga. What? Go on, go on. Uh, uh, yo, yo. Go to what you read. Yo, I had him. I had him for about four. Yeah, he did. He said, did. I thought I, I, I laid it close and everything. I was like, I can see it in his eyes. He changed his mind. It's the day one that fucked me up. Go ahead, man. Hey, I seen it. That's why I kept saying I was like, uh-oh. I started to lean over. Oh, I think I'm not staying. I think he's starting to change. I think he's start start to switch. At least in the, okay, you go, they go, but you ain't gonna kill him though. All right, go ahead. Fair enough. You ain't gonna kill him. Why am I leave him around for? <laughs> To tell everybody what. So that you they stay gonna tell a them, free man. But you want to go to jail and tell everybody, yeah, this dude lied. You think the judge he gave me a understand? perfect life all this time, but he lied, you so think, I had to kill him. You don't think the judge going to understand? Crime of passion. Dude, you are not getting off for killing your wife, dude. That that actually happened to the kid in Virginia Tech. I don't the know kid at Virginia Tech. Yeah, he killed a, um, he, he killed a, um, a transvestite woman. I, I don't. I, I gotta look it up, but I believe he. For 10 I believe he. Years. I mean, if you if if you lay down with somebody, it's a one night stand, and you find out that it was really a dude, then I get that. But ten years, ain't no judge letting you off for that. If I nigga, you was. had ten years to find out, 
and now you kill him? Hey, nah, something else. You, you, you're right. He ain't going to let you off, but on he the way understand. out of the courtroom, that nigga, that nigga will look at you in the eye and be he like, gonna, you know what? I understand. He's going to dap you. I, like, I, I did the same yeah. thing. <laughs> hey, and I will turn around with my hands behind my back, and he will fist bump me on the way out of yeah, the courtroom. Yeah. Be like, I had, to, I had to give you this life, but nigga, I get why you did it. I'm Amistad, man. Fuck the dap. Let me free. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, okay. My freedom over life and then freedom. That's how I roll. Fuck that. I'm not going to jail for this shit. Like, if I got to separate from the person, I do. But I'm not, yo, uh-uh. I'm not killing nobody over the shit for what? Now I'm in jail yeah. for the rest of my life? Locked up? And then if niggas catch wind of what really happened, every nigga in there is going to be trying you to put their dick in. Because they're going to bring it up. Nigga, when you in jail, it. they literally release your crimes you gonna, in the cell. Gonna, yeah. In the, in yeah. The, in yeah. And guess, guess, you guess, guess, guess who's a... With your new chick yeah. talking, and then she gonna like arguing like, and then she, you ain't say that when I was sucking guess your it. dick. I'm guess who? Like, yo, guess 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 I'm, who? I'm guess who's free. off limit when it comes to jail? Women and children. That nigga was neither one of them. What does that got to do with what you are in for? I don't. Yeah, when they when they release the paperwork, it's gonna say her, but you're gonna say that was a him. Women and children are un, untouchable. Yeah, niggas. But, yeah, no, nah, he had to get. Listen, it. if this person was able to marry you, that means they legally changed their name. That means that they change their, their gender and status and everything like that. So when that thing comes down and it says that you were in jail for murder and it was against your wife, it's not going to say that you killed that nigga Tyrell for lying to you 12 years ago. It's going to say you murdered your wife. Everybody's going to ask. It's exactly. It's going to be a popular story. And it's exactly. It's going to get out. You Yeah, the truth is going to get out. And but it, now you locked up with the truth out, saying not only did you kill your wife, but your wife was a dude, and you've been in a in a, a, a homosexual relationship all this time. <laughs> now you trying to explain to other niggas that will put a dick inside of you that nah nah nah, it wasn't really a dude. Like you might as well chalk it up. You're fucked yeah, nah. one way or the other. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so which way are you gonna take it? So you're going to kill this person and end up in jail in your 40s. So you got these young, wilding out 20-year-old motherfuckers waiting for you to close your eye for life. And you are hey, not going to sit there one eye open for the if, rest of your life. If Epstein could off himself with 24-hour security watching him, guess what? We up out of here. I don't want to be here no more anyway. First, no, nah, right. I don't play with the booty. So I got that. Then why kill the person to begin with? If it means that much, you think just check out. Mm, true that. <laughs> they just check out. But why even deal with having to worry about what's going to happen at jail? Hey, fuck it. Ah, I fucked that. up. Ow. <laughs> Let me put one more thing in my mouth. <laughs> Pause. Pause. So now I'm in heaven. Click, he click, boom. Now I got to worry about if I go to heaven or hell because I don't kill myself. Yeah. I got to answer that question. Well, if well you, you, you got to worry about it anyway if you live out your days because you just sleep with a homosexual the whole time. Hey, well, depends. You're Christian, right? Mm-hmm. Nah, you, you got the cheat yeah. code. I got you got the cheat code. What's that? I say pray for forgiveness right before you die. You don't even gotta pray for forgiveness. I mean, the rule says that you gotta confess with your heart that Jesus Christ is your personal savior. And I didn't suck. Dick. You do that, you go to heaven. There's no, there's no other stipulation. Nowhere in the Bible <clears> that <throat> that we as Christians read says, oh, and on top of that, you have to do this. Nah, that's the rules. That's the rules. You just got to believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, Jesus Christ is your personal savior, and you're on the stairway to heaven, dog. That's why people can live murderous lives their entire life and on their deathbed confess it, and we believe they went up. So, what are you really losing? Because I'm sure you've already confessed that, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you losing? You're on the stairway to heaven anyway. So now, if you're, if you're a, a Catholic, and you believe in and that way, then yeah, suicide. Yeah, then you, is you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get the suicide. Confession. You out of here like Constantine. Like you better like really, like really start shooting, shooting demons and shit to like try to get yourself out of it. But in 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 Christianity, nah, we already got the cheat code. Technically, I've had the cheat code since I was twelve, so I'm 12. good. Nah, so. <clears throat> <laughs> I might not have all these heaven mansions like everybody else, or no purple robes and shit, but I mean, I'm still in the game. I still get to go to the party. <laughs> I might not have the flyers wares at the party, but hey, I'm still in the building. Stupid. King Bear 
in the building. Raw. <laughs> so, would you rather? So, like I said, you're not you're not gonna kill him, right? <laughs> y'all y'all ain't gonna kill him. You can't kill him. That's what you I love yourself. What state we say sleep. What state we in? Oh, you still on that? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll pick a state. The state we're in is what the? I was about to, but fellas, my bad. It's time. Would you rather time, ladies and gentlemen? It's that time again. The would you rather portion of go- the show? Ugh, excuse me, where I ask the fellas <laughs> some scenarios, and then they have to answer one way or the other. They can't say they're not going to do it. They can't say they're just going to die. They got to answer it, and they got to explain why they're picking that answer. Now they can ask questions, but they can't change the scenario. So, comedian C.J. Trowers, mm-hmm. big sleep from the West Coast in the building. Yes, sir. You guys ready? Yep. All right. Would you rather, number one, would you rather oh, Lord. jump out of a plane knowing the parachute bag is full of pots and pans or strap your ass to an acne rocket that when ignited is going to crash into a stone cliff, a la Mary Melodies? Shout out, shout out to Wiley Coyote. <laughs> yeah, I went back to my childhood. Say, say it again. Okay, here we go. Would you rather jump out of a plane knowing the parachute bag is full of pots and pans or strap your ass to an acne rocket that when ignited is fired towards is fired towards and is going to crash into a stone cliff? I'll say B just because I don't like heights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to jump out playing with no fucking parachute. So. I'm going to go, I'm, I, I too am going to take the Acme Rocket just because, just because I think it would be hilarious to see. Because I'm, again, I'm not a little guy. <laughs> to see my big ass straddling a rocket. Oh, what a pause. Pause. <laughs> be a pretty big rocket between your legs. <laughs> hey, I got to pause myself before I'm about to say what I'm about to say. It would have to be. Hell no. Um, but, you know, I, I just think it would, it would be funny to, see, funny to see. And you're right. Shout out to the, the Mary Melodies and the cop. I had to think about it when you said it. I was like, Mary Melodies, and that's. Yeah, that whole cartoon where cartoons were cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. But yeah, nah. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll take, take the rocket. The rocket. And, 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 and without without, uh, without, without any, any equivocation, equivocation, I'm taking the rocket. Okay. <laughs> so we got two rockets. <laughs> okay, short and sweet. Number two. Would you rather live forever? but think you're gonna die every single day or know the exact minute you tragically and painfully die and you can't change it. Yeah, these are thought ones this time. Live every day, live forever, and almost think I'm gonna die every day. Yeah, so you don't know you're gonna live forever, but every single day you're like, oh my God, I feel it, like this is the day I, check out and like stuff happens that you know normal people you would know a day you get into accidents or you you know there's a shootout at a bank around you and a bullet literally comes right by your face and you think that's it like and the other one every is what? day that shit and the other one is what or you live the rest of your life knowing exactly when you're gonna die how you're gonna die and it's tragic and painful but you know exactly when it's gonna happen you that. might not know that how it's going to happen, but you know it's going to be tragic, and you know it's going to be painful. I'll choose that. Okay, so you're going to live forever thinking you're going to die every day. Yeah. I'm All right. <clears throat> no, I'm choosing. I'm choosing B just because of I the the anxiety that A would bring. Right. Is uh, it was unreal. <laughs> so just knowing just knowing that. 
every day you wake up, you're gonna you're gonna see death but not experience it. Nah, I'm cool. I'd rather know when it's gonna happen so that I can pretty much live the rest of my life, unless I know that it's happening tomorrow. <laughs> Even if it's gonna be tragic, <laughs> right? <laughs> Even if it's gonna be tragic, I just, still once know. you know, That's what you I was can't go about. back that and shit can happen tomorrow. So I'd be like, twelve hours of fucking. Fuck every chick I want to eat. <laughs> fuck every chick I want to fuck. Yeah, like 20, 24 hours to live type right. shit. They could your perfect husband. Oh my god. But, but at the same time, <laughs> knowing or or thinking thinking that every day is is the last is way worse than knowing when your last day is. So I'm going with B. Mm. And you're going with A? Yep. Why would you pick A over B? I just told you because I, I, the thought of, and I understand what he's saying, being able to just fulfill his life, you know, it's the tragic, painful, the exact moment. I don't want to have to now, oh, tomorrow's the day type. Right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I rather, yeah, but what if you got to know that it was like 30 but, years from today? Huh? But what if, you, but meant, what if you got to know that it was 30 years from today? Would that change? Like you're, what, 43, 43. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you know you're going to check out the day after your birthday at 73. By horrible but feet. nothing else is going to kill you. Yeah, and it's going to be horrible, tragic, and painful. You would still pick the... No. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm changing it. I just wanted to no. see what you were thinking on that. But you're still going with the uh, live forever and not know. You're going to deal All with right. the anxiety. Okay, interesting. I'm learning something I've been about close your to life, death a couple of times anyway. So far at this point, yeah. But what if every day you spent the rest of your, for your rest of your days you spent feeling like you almost experienced death, basically like a meerkat, <laughs> like every day, <laughs> like, like like Timo, no Pumbaa, that, no Timo, that feeling Timo. that that feeling that you had when you almost experienced death, you experienced that every day in every different day. ways and shapes, forever. Though, that's the key. Fuck that. <laughs> for. <laughs> I got you. Forever. Yeah, I got you. No, sir. Hmm. Interesting. I like the split on this. Good to see you guys are thinking. Now. <laughs> here, oh, that, I, and yes, here, here comes, here comes, comes the bullshit. Here comes herpes uh, and it's vomit. Yeah. And here comes ass yeah, play. Yeah, it's soft. <laughs> it's soft. Here comes the real shit. I was like, this is too like. Hey, hey, the whole time I'm trying not to look at the camera. He was, I was like, oh, we we starting with some cartoon shit. Okay, yeah. I'm like, that's right. <laughs> so I'm like, yes. <laughs> okay, here, here come we the, go. Here come, here come, here come the shit. vomit and the ass play. Numero <laughs> trace. <laughs> Numero san. Okay. Number three, would you rather, and it's so funny, it, these things tie in, like it's it's by, by nature the way stuff ties in is fucking awesome. All right, <coughs> number three, would you rather have both eyes pulled from your head but left dangling and impossible to ever put back? Both eyes. Or... <laughs> Go to Thailand and normally do anally sexed by the most beautiful lady boy in Bangkok just one time. This nigga. (laughs) And and, and yo, he said this is a one. Remember he said these are all ones. These are nothing. Uh Yeah, these are these are the level one green bag. This ain't this ain't even crazy. Yeah, it's not. The second half was a throwback. I will and it's like, crazy. I, I put that in there before we even had the subject we did. So it's crazy how stuff ties together. The universe. So what you want to do? Now, you can still see out of both eyes, but they're literally just dangling out of the sockets on the sinew. And you can't put them back. So if somebody calls you, you got to pick up both eyes and be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> But what's dope is <laughs> if you try to sneak up on somebody around the corner, you just be like, <laughs> you take one eyeball and peek it around the corner. <laughs> but that's literally, that's it for life. Literally dangling from the sockets for life. 
clacking together like the click clack toys every time you move and you don't hold them. And the other one is fucking having a lady boy from Thailand. Yeah, the prettiest lady but, boy from Thailand. But uh, just but just one time. Though. You could be completely drunk and not even know. There'd just be photographic evidence of it happening. Photographic and, evidence. Yeah, like maybe she took pictures or there was cameras in the club while you was getting your booty hole serviced. But it's only one time. But it's pictures that could last forever. Yeah, and it's Thailand, Thailand cock. So I don't know how big that is, but. From what the rest of the earth says, nobody fucks with African cock. So, <laughs> so you might have the Asian thing in play. So I don't know. I didn't say they were fucking hung, freaking Dirk Diggler or no shit like that. No Wesley Pipes of Thailand. I'm gonna let Jim carry the mask then. <laughs> hey, nigga, I was, I was sitting back. If you watch, I'm sitting back. I'm waiting. I was waiting for you to say so. I'm like, nigga, you gay. <laughs> I'm let Jim carry the mask. I was, I was waiting. No, after, after the first topic, there's no fucking way I'm going to choose B. None. Jim carry the mask. Just one time. You're going to leave your eyeballs. 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 Click, sir. I'm no, not. that's what we do. Eyeballs and not his balls? <laughs> nope. Eyeballs, not his balls. Yep. <laughs> hey, I was I was, I was, was waiting because, I, again, I'm, I'm sitting back watching. I'm like, all right, maybe he's considering this. No. No. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's really, one time. Maybe, I was like, nope. Maybe, 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 Bear, maybe Bear is, like, really selling it right now. Maybe he's... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> he's really selling. It. You're not just watching on video. That that's the the premise in the room too. It's it's thick with consideration from that side of the table. Eyeballs. From that side of the blue table. <laughs> he's thinking today though. No eyeballs it is. Eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my nigga. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> After 10 years, how often do you think one day is like one day and I don't know you? You got to get out. Well, I mean, you could do that. You could off him if you want. Nobody said that that person is protected. No. That's a crime of passion for real. No. But it's just one time. Eh, eh, eh. Suppose he's a quick draw. It's like three pumps. Nope. <laughs> I'll watch a motherfucker do it or somebody else. I'll be like, hey, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, look at this. Like, what? Yep. Hell no. Nah. Wow. It's funny. For, for those new viewers, go back and watch the video. That, that one was put up against the penis on the face, and I chose penis on the face, too, as a picture. It sure was. No, we ain't doing that. We are not doing that. Sure. We are not doing that. The penis tattoo. I don't even think that one released yet. I might have to put that. I might have to look back and see if that one actually uh, went live I yet. I forgot about that one. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So you got So to recant, we got uh, two strap into the Agni rocket. We got one that's going to live forever and the other that's going to painfully die. And then we have both guys <clears throat> going to Thailand. No, no. Neither one of us is going to Thailand. <laughs> My nigga. Neither eyes. one of us is going. Eyes, eyes, Neither, eyes. Nice, nice try, Nice try. Hey. <laughs> nice no, try. sir. I guess, I guess they're still paying attention. <laughs> no, sir. <Eyes. laughs> they only have eyes for them. Right. That's it. <laughs> I will I, I will get a necklace and carry these two nuggets around <laughs> on my chain for the rest of my life pointing yeah. forward. Yo, just get an eyeball bra. <laughs> it's just yep. tra- like like a mask for COVID. <laughs> just hold yeah. the eyeballs like a bra. Yep. But yeah. excuse me, lady, my eyes are down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hell that's, no. That, that's what we doing. We uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was fun. We're gonna wrap up. Would you rather? Thanks for playing, fellas. I'm glad you thought it was fun. Yeah. That was not a level one there. Uh-huh. That wasn't level one, that last one. No. Nope. Really no. Nope. But see, I, I had to really, I wasn't even, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I wasn't going to do Would You Rather this week because I was really, I was like, ah, these are all like level ones. But then I pulled that level three. I was like, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I, not, I'm not I'm not. going to lie. CJ, I thought he had you. I thought he had you. No. <laughs> I had to let him feel like man, but no. But no. <laughs> oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. <laughs> Dramatic pause. It was a hell no. You pause, pause for effect. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, nah, nigga, I just all. Hey, uh, you just gave this perfect scenario, and I said that motherfucker got to go. You think I was gonna? Hell no. Eyes. Yeah. Eyes it is. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. 
you you did good on that one because I was just like, oh, he got him this time. He got him. <laughs> he got him. And I, I, I'm I'm just sitting back like, yeah. As soon as he says B, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit up and just yell out, nigga, you get. <laughs> you, about to, you about to rally me from Boondocks? Yeah, I was finally gonna use the Riley. <laughs> Oh my Nigga, you gay. Magnificent. You guys, man. He's a scumbag. Yep. <laughs> we are. <laughs> through and through. How did you say it before? It's our DNA. <laughs> it's the DNA. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are get ready to get up out of here. I've been King Bear in the building. Comedian City for hours. Big sleep from the West Coast. And for all y'all. We out of here. Peace. Peace.